and welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. Today we are checking out four different retailers in Australia on their build your own gingerbread house. Now we have from most expensive, the Coles, which is $12. The Woolworths, which is $10. The Kmart, which is $8.50. And the Aldi, which is $7.99. So, just under $8. Now, we're going to be making these individually. I will be time-lapsing them, and I'll be showing you what is going to be the best value for your money. Okay, let's start with the Coles. Alright, now we're starting with the Coles. Now, this one is... $12. And it is the most heaviest one as well. It weighs in at one kilo. Now, on the back, you'll see the instructions. And it has the pieces, some characters, an EZ build tray, uh, the premix icing, some penny wheels, some jelly hearts, some mini beads, and some pucker ups. Um, th those are all lollies. Um, and it gives you the instructions on how to do build this thing as well. Alright, let's open this thing up and see what's inside. Alright, let's bring out all of the little bits and pieces. So there's our easy tray. We have some candy bits. Oh, there's that. Alright. Alright, looking at all the pieces, you can see we've got an imprint on the front of our gingerbread house, which looks pretty good. We've got the easy tray, which you've got little spots to pick, stick all your little things. And you've got the decoration pieces that look pretty good. And a whole pile of this icing. It's an easy build, royal icing, glacier royal. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to have the instructions up here so I can see what we're going to do. I'm now going to time lapse this part and we're going to get this thing finished. All right, let's get onto it. And that's the Coles one. All done. It, I used up all of the little pieces and it looks pretty good. Alright, I'm going to show you a nice little picture of it going around. And down to number two. This is the second one I'm going to do, which is the second most expensive one as well. Comes in at $10. And it is a hefty 658 grams. Does come in a little bit lower than the Coles one, but let's see what you get in the box. So you get a nice instruction card telling you also what's inside it. You get your little, what's it called? Plastic base, tiny little thing, isn't it? And inside here, let's see what you get. So you've got your icing, which is a fair amount. It's not exactly soft in some spots, but it's okay. You've got some sides. You've got some roof. You've got the ends. You've got a couple of candy canes. A couple of mint wheels. Some sugar dots. Some juvie things and some little Christmas things. What are they called Santa Claus, Snowman, a wreath, a wreath, and a Christmas tree. Alright. 
Well, that's everything that's in this box. We're going to uh, now time lapse and put this thing together. And that's done. Doesn't it look amazing? All right, now that we've done the Woolworths one, it's time to start on the Kmart one. All right, now we've got the Kmart one, which is $8.50. And it's only 400 grams, so this is the lightest one of the lot. But, what do you get inside it? Alright, so this is another one that has a easy way to get in, just a little bit of sticky tape. Open it up. Okay, so there is no extra instructions. The instructions are actually on the back. So I'm going to put that out here so I can see it. So I've got another little corner tubing of ice, I icing. I've got a little Santa, which he looks very similar to the other Santa on the Woolworths one. We've got some jubes. We've got some hundreds and thousands, which are going to make a mess everywhere. We've got uh, some uh, little coloured balls. Now inside here, let's have a look what we've got. So inside here, each one of the pieces of gingerbread is actually individually wrapped as well. Okay. And we've got one piece of cardboard which is cling wrapped. All right. So now you see they've got all the pieces. Time for me to time lapse this and we'll get this one together. All right, well, that's the $8.50 Kmart one completed. Now, it was quite difficult to make this one, and it wasn't that easy, so just keep that in mind. All right, last but not least is the $7.99 Aldi one, which is 500 grams. And last but not least, this is the $7.99 Aldi one, which is 500 grams, so it's a little bit heavier than the Kmart one, but a lot less, uh, sorry, yeah, a lot less than the, um, oh, not that much, 158 grams less than the Woolworths, and half the size of the Coles. All right, let's open this one up. Oh, and pops out. So in this one, I didn't see any instructions really. Here. Okay, so, ooh, you got some little people. That's nice. Little coloured dots. See what's in here. Okay, so we've got a Christmas tree. We've got a front and a back. Got some stars and hearts and shapes and things. I think that's one of the roofs. That's the other side of the roof. And that's the base. Now, the funny thing is there's no icing in this kit. So it's a do-it-yourself kit, so you need to make the icing yourself. That sucks on this one. I thought this was gonna be the easiest one of the lot, but no, it's gonna be the hardest. So, luckily, 
because I actually bought all the other ones, we've still got some icing left over. So we can put this thing together pretty quickly. All right. There is a recipe on the back on how to make the icing, but we're not going to do that. That's just too much hard work. Let's just whip this thing together now. Time lapse time. And that's the hourly one done. Um, this one was really easy to put together. Looks great. The bad part it is, it didn't have its own icing. Let down. All right, let's uh, line these four up side by side and have a look at them together. And you'll uh, make your decision and I'll make my decision to see when, which one's the best. All right, let's have a look. All right, well, that has now completed the making of these houses. Now I can tell you, the Audi one was the quickest one to put together because they had such large pieces. The other one was the Coles one because the base slotted everything into it. Uh, these two, the Kmart one was the worst one to make because the base really was just a piece of cardboard. And the, uh, the Safeway one, the, the gingerbread decided to break. It was very brittle. Um, and I've already had three pieces of it break and I've been able to see two of them and the third one broke while I was already together. So, bad. Um, overall, for price wise for weight, the Coles one wins, hands down. $12 a kilo or $1.20 for 100 grams. Um, the cheapest one, wasn't actually the cheapest. If you put it into cons into consideration that you uh, have to buy your icing or make your icing, it works out to be more expensive because you need eggs and all other all the other stuff to make this icing good. Uh, so the cheapest really is the Kmart one, and it does show. Uh, the lollies aren't as large. The sprinkles go everywhere. If you want a mess in your kitchen, go for the Kmart one. But it's not that well off for money. It is the cheapest, but it is the smallest. So hands down winner for this competition of which one is best value for money. Although it's the most expensive, I would go the Coles. Secondly, I would go the Aldi one. Third place goes to the Woolworths. And last place is the Kmart one, which unfortunately didn't tick any boxes for me if you like anything you've seen in this video make sure you give us a big thumbs up don't forget any comments questions or you know things you want us to try leave it in the comments field below and if you haven't already Hit that subscribe button and get notified when we do these. What's in the box episodes? My daily vlogs. Check out Basket, Cooking with Craig, Car Maintenance, you name it. I film it. It ends up on YouTube. So hit that subscribe button. And until next time, have a Merry Christmas.